Hi friends, this is Pastor Harley Wheeler with Broadway United Methodist Church. I have a devotion for you today. It's out of Matthew chapter 2, uh, beginning in a verse, uh, well, actually just verse 18. Um, it's one of those stories, even though we had, um, it's still January, and we remember all the Christmas story stuff, you know, little baby, manger, Mary and Joseph. There's this story in Matthew chapter 2 that reminds us that Herod, uh, being foiled and being led the his attempt to be led straight to the Christ child He unleashes his soldiers and kills many children in Bethlehem He does not end up killing Jesus, but he does this horrible deed uh, and Matthew quotes the prophet Jeremiah saying a voice was heard in Ramah Weeping and loud lamentation Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be comforted because they are no more and Jeremiah had said this about a time when the people were led away into captivity. Um, this was a horrible tragedy in itself and involved much loss of life and suffering. And you imagine Rachel, who had been long dead and buried, standing kind of ghost-like by her grave, weeping as her children left. And this is, a, this is a powerful picture. And Matthew says you have a fulfillment of this. You have a picture of what this really means. And um, these, these uh, children also living in a village along that same road. Um, being killed and their mothers weeping for them. They would refuse to be comforted because their children are no more. And my friends, we're going to see, it's a certainty, we're going to see some horrible news at some point, whether it's today or the next day or the next week, it will be out there, some deed done by uh, a tyrant, by a person with too much power, not enough conscience. Um, and because these things are, are part of the of the human community because we have some very bad people and who will unleash some very bad uh, deeds upon us the prophet jeremiah went on to say be comforted your children will return how can children who have even lost their lives return because god is the god of life and of death he will raise up he will restore uh, we have that confidence and it's a confidence from scripture that they that that these even these who grieve children will receive full comfort in the end so remember that god's mercy is great and it is powerful amen